A dengue is spread by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Populations in tropical climates like Antigua and Barbuda are particularly susceptible. The Ministry of Health has been monitoring the incidents closely. We noticed an increase starting at the end of last year and um, through our surveillance activities. And that increase con continued up until the, uh, January, February, March of this year, and then we saw a decline. And then in July, we started seeing a slight increase, and that continued to August, September. And we're still monitoring and getting the data for October. Dr. Seely Thomas is worried that there's been an increase, since the condition can be potentially harmful. Thomas confirms one death in Antigua and Barbuda from dengue. That was in March of this year. Um, though I am concerned that uh, we are seeing increases in the number of cases, and um, we know that, as I mentioned before, dengue can be asymptomatic, but it can also um, cause severe disease. So we really don't want anybody from the population to get this, uh, the, uh, what we call severe dengue. So at the levels of vector control, the health department is the one tasked with the elimination of the pesky Aedes aegypti mosquito. But the public can play its part. When they don't, it puts considerable stress on the strained resources of the health department. We have a policy where we attempt to investigate every suspected case. So there are times, for example, in a week, we might have 40 to 50 suspected cases. The health department has employed various methods to eliminate the larvae of the mosquito or the adult pest. Fogging is one, and the treatment of water catchment is another. But it's stressing the public will have to play its part. Andy Library reporting for EBS News.